Kyle, Kev Edwards, Sim Rally here. Uh, today we're going to be looking into a new, well, new to me, Richard Burns Rally um, mod. This is RBR World. I uh, downloaded this the other week. Uh, it's actually quite decent, um, but I thought I'd do a little video on it uh, to see what it was all about. So I've actually still managed to keep me RBR check as well uh, by partitioning me hard drive. So I've got me RBR check on one hard drive and the RBR world on another. Uh, so to go into the check one, I have to go into my C drive and then go into the file and and start the game there. I don't know if I can put two um, desktops on. I haven't tried just in case it messes it up. So I've just sort of left it at this for now. Um, what have I just clicked on there? Okay, right. Okay, so this is what you get when you start it up. Um, you can do all your graphic settings and stuff. Uh, that's all my answers. But you'll, you'll get a tutorial on how to do this on the website if you go onto the RBR World website. Now, you do need a vanilla copy of Richard Burns, which you can get off the Richard Burns Rally Czech website. Uh, I think there's a demo there you can download. So, I followed the tutorial for that. Downloaded all the plugins off it. And then downloaded the RBR World stuff and uh, added that to it. And it, it, it seems to have worked out fine. There's a couple of plugins with the RBR World as well. I just threw them in as well. Um, and then you, you then go to, you'd have to log in, make an account and everything. Um, and then you, you get this. So you download all the essential stuff. And then you can, you don't have to do them all at once. You can pick individual stages so just pick a stage in a car just to make sure it works to begin with test everything and then what i done is when i had time when i wasn't on a computer i just downloaded the tracks and went down and watched the telly yeah i think it took i think they were both done within an hour so like an hour for the cars and an hour for the tracks probably even even quicker than that because uh, i didn't sit here and watch it uh, so have all your downloads are here all your plugins and everything so then when you want to start it you can go you can go onto hot laps which registers all your times and puts it onto like um onto the, uh, an online leaderboard or you can just do a test zone so when you go onto the test zone you get this um where you can pretty much pick any all your stages that you've got downloaded so let's do something like uh, yeah let's do lockhart because um, i was doing this the other day so it should be pretty familiar pick all your weather conditions uh pick what conditions you want the stage to be we'll just do dry for now uh what type of surface you want your um, the stage to be if it's worn obviously damage uh, and then uh, all your cars here uh, now a little mistake i made i downloaded the wrc cars first and when i was scrolling through like this i couldn't find wrc uh, the latest wrc cars and i was like i thought there was something wrong with it but you'd have to actually click on it and then you get the list and you can go into it that way yeah and then obviously you pick whatever car volkswagen's really good one of the issues i've i've found the force feedback seems to be really inconsistent so on the volkswagen it's really light there's barely any force feedback at all and then if you pick like the toyota or hyundai it's really strong uh, so that takes a little bit of getting used to you might have to play around a little bit with each car um what, what force feedback settings you want and stuff um but you've got you've got all sorts on here there is a few missing i noticed there wasn't a ad quattro for some reason um i don't know why that's missing yeah but you've got you know you've got more more than you can bloody shake a stick at you've got enough to keep you entertained here so whatever kind of category you're into you'll find something for it uh, let's go for let's try something a bit different eh? 
a little fear punt out. Nah, that'll be front rear wheel drive. Swerve that. Not into front wheel drive whatsoever. Uh, where was that mark? Two escort. There was an escort somewhere then, wasn't it? Um, yeah, the only problem is it's actually finding stuff again. <laughs> yeah, mark two escort. Yeah, let's go for Let's go for a mark two Esi. One thing as well, you need to be aware of it. On default, it will be on slicks. So on a tarmac tyre, uh, so that can catch it out. You can go on to, um, you'll start the stage and then you won't have the right tyres on. You'll be slipping everywhere and you'll think, oh, this is crap. So make sure you pick the gravel. So obviously tarmac gravel and snow. Uh, there's also um, a camera adjustment thing as well, which is a little bit fiddly but it does work so you'd have to pick what car you want to adjust the camera on because you can set all your lights on it as well uh, and then have a play around with that but you'll have to go into the game to see to see it and then come back out so it is a bit awkward uh, but it, it does the job uh, obviously we want a dry tyre because we're on dry tarmac uh, there's skins as well so yeah if you want to put your own skins on and uh, all that can be picked in there so basically everything you need to to pick is all laid out for you in this menu uh, so you can put your lights on uh, see whenever you want like a uh, light pods or not so it's a really nice sort of clean way of doing things okay let's see if we've got everything on before we go scotland lock hard uh, gravel service dry blah blah, blah gravel tire oh heat shifter so where did I do the H uh, shifter? I can't remember where I actually done the settings for it. Uh, yeah, there was somewhere where I set the H shifter up as well. I can't remember if it was in the actual. You can go into the vanilla game and save your stuff there, and it should save over in this. But it doesn't always do it first time. You might have to do it a couple of times for some reason. Okay, so I think that's us. Good to go. So it should load in now. Right. Uh, obviously, you'll go for the tutorial where you'd have to do your Mulligan 20 setup. Uh, tune your car there if you want to do any tuning. And then into driving the stage. So, another thing as well, I'll, uh, I'll go through when I, when I load this up. If you change anything in this now, it won't it won't save unless you go on to save data and then save progress. So any changes you make um, in this when you're in the game now, make sure you go on to save progress if you want to keep it. Um, so ever I, I should be ever it should Three, be set for two, yeah. one, go. So go. Mark two, A, yes, go to go. Easy right. Flat left, flat right, 200. So. Medium left, medium right, long. One of the things you might notice straight away from NGP is the sounds. Medium left, don't come. So, all, I haven't bothered any sounds on this. Jump this is already maybe. all part medium of RBR right, world. Long. So each car's got a nice sound to it, whereas with the check one, with the in-car in -car game file, uh, you just pick one of the vanilla sound tracks to do. You can mod on top of that like as well, but I just haven't found the time, so it's nice that this is all already done for you. Fast left, tightens, medium right, easy left, 70. Another thing as well is the sense of speed. It's actually like a really Easy left, nice sense of speed with it. Over crest and fast right, 150. Ooh. Jump and easy so, left. Fast right, wide With out. the NGP physics. K left, keep right. I, I do really like the NGP physics to be fair. Flat right. But it is like it's like driving on ice. It's um, 
Like you drive a, you drive like a Mark II Escort or anything on that, and you're just slipping all over the place. Like even when you change change gear, you get like wheel spin if you release the clutch too quick. There it is. This is a lot more manageable. Really fun as well. To be fair, like the brakes as well seem a little bit there. Uh, a bit stronger on this. Medium left. Fast right tightens. Upper crest. Medium left. Easy right. It's really fun. Really fun. Upper crest. Fast left. Medium right. Don't come. Without it. Upper crest. Definitely more forgiving as well. You can um, jump and flat right. It's more fast left. Seems to have a little bit more control to get you out of danger. Keep right, easy left. Yeah, that definitely a lot better on the brakes. Fast right, don't cut. Fast left into twisting. Fast right, easy left, don't cut. Over crest. Flat right. Flat left and keep left. Over crest. Fast left. Over crest. Meet your right. Probably more closer to how you'd out there rally to race. Easy right. Key right. Medium left. Like, Medium left. I have a lot more confidence. Medium right into. Finish. Yeah. Awesome. So, I don't think that saves any any times uh, when you're just on the, the practice bit. But if you go onto the hot lap section, then all your time save. You got like say you go onto like a global league leaderboard. Um, uh, no, I don't want to say take that. Uh, what have we got on here? Uh, like it doesn't normally. It doesn't normally do that, so I don't know if this is actually a bug or not. Um, normally, it gives you the option to go back into the uh, um, RBR World menu, so then it puts you back into that loading screen then. So it looks like we have a little bit of a bug because it definitely can't do anything for me yet. No. Yeah. Okay, alright. So just 
uh, my new button work then. Um, yeah, it was a bit strange. Anyway, yeah, so that is... I'll tell you what I will do before we go. I'll show you where the tournament section is. Now, this is free to download, but if you want to join the, the proper um, leagues then you'd have to pay a subscription. I can't remember what it is, maybe 30 quid a year or something like that, that off the top of my head. I'll have to uh, have another look. But there is a lot of free ones as well, so you can do free events, um, which are really cool, which I might do actually one now, but do it as a separate video. Um, so, yeah, that's RBR first look. Um, I'd say if you're new to Richard Burns Rally or you struggle with it, I'd recommend this mod because it's probably one of the more forgiven ones that I've tried. It's definitely more forgiven than the, than the Czech one. Um, although, some of the bumps, the suspension isn't great on it. Um, in fact, let's do that now. It's going to be a long video. But, uh, so, let's pick a stage that is quite bumpy. Uh, da, 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 da. So, yeah, it's got quite a few bumps on it. Uh, that Poland stage. Yeah, that we were doing the other day that I absolutely loved. So, uh, I've done this the other day on the RBR Czech. I've uh, done a video on it. So, just to keep it. Um, Keep it like the same. I'll try and find the Toyota Celica so we can compare. Now, I already know what to expect here because I've already tried it and I found. I uh, don't want to hit shift to do that. No, it's very sequential. Yeah, I found that the Czech was a lot more enjoyable than what the Richard Baines Rally, than what this world one was. So, I think when the stages are flat and a little bit smoother, this handles better than the Czech one. But the Czech does bumps two, a lot better. Absolutely love this stage though. I mean, you might be able to tune a lot, but... You can see how much the car is bouncing around. Then on, on the brakes, it's not, not as forgiving as it was on the uh, lap hard stage. that I had in that like, hard stage, it just isn't the same on this one. I'm not 
to know what's going on with the, the times as well, the times are like the weather. But I think it loads in at another stage. So maybe that time is from like the stage is loading in off. Yeah, well, well, yeah, there you go. So you can tell straight away. Ah, right, that's what you should get. Yeah, how bumpy it was compared to the uh, to the the Richard Payne's Rally Check one that I done the other day. I done the playthrough, which I actually really enjoyed. It was probably like the best stage I'd done in ages. So I was, I was keen to try it on this and just found it. Not that it's bad. It's different. It's more. It's weird because it's more challenging on this than it is on check. But most of the stages are better on this than what they are on the check one. So I guess it's just down to preference. It's if you can download the two, you might as well download the two because it's free and it gives you the different kind of a feeling to each game and keeps the game alive. But I definitely, I say, I'd recommend this one to those who are new to Richard Burns or struggle with it. Everything's laid out like really nice as well. So uh, yeah, that's the first look into RBR World. Uh, I'll be doing a bit more on this and possibly joining up doing a proper league next season. Although we might still we might stick to the Czech one. We're not sure yet because uh, we'll enter like Crest Auto Sports as a team. Um, so we might do both. We might pick one or the other. We're, we're not sure. It depends on what time we get and how many people we get to the, to commit to it. So uh, yeah, thanks for joining. Don't forget like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Um, and I'll catch you on the next video.